Okay, so let's talk about the formalist style. So formalism is kind of hard to describe. It's kind of the opposite to realism. If realists use no tricks, formalists use all the tricks. Uh, lots of special effects. Most of these tend to be digital these days. And the reason why we think it's probably called formalism is because of the emphasis on cinematic form. Every form of filmmaking, editing, photography, special effects, digital effects, music, sound, etc. Jim Piper, the guy who wrote the film appreciation book that I take a lot of this material from, argues that he feels like formalism is just kind of more of an intellectual idea than anything that's truly real to grasp. And he's probably right. Uh, but formalism is basically the opposite of realism. You've seen a formalist movie. Um, some examples include A Wizard of Oz, uh, any movie from Disney, Harry Potter a Tim Burton movie, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Alice in Wonderland, any superhero movie, Iron Man, Batman, Superman, etc., etc., etc. Avatar by James Cameron, 2009. Now, granted, Avatar is intended to have a message. It's obviously about corporations exploiting indigenous cultures um, on the planet Pandora as they look for, I still can't believe they call it unobtainium, but they do. Um, and so they're looking for this mineral. It, it, that's that's what this film is all about, and it's it's a very that, that's formalism in general. So we're gonna stop here because it's formalism. I don't need to show you a trailer from this. You know these movies, uh, you know these scenes, lots of special effects, um, and I will continue forth.